Hey there Capricorn, welcome to Healing Guides Tarot. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Whenever you have to come across it, that's when you're meant to see it. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's tap into what's going on. Let's see. We're starting out Eight of Cups, evolving. Someone's walking away from something to go to something better. You're moving on. And then we have the Star, Universal Alignment. So this is this is a line you write up. Whatever you're doing here, it looks good. This is like the Nine of Cups from the Major Arcana. Something, your wish fulfillment here. You're walking away from something that was not serving you to do something, to go to something better. Whether it's a relationship, a job, a circumstance, a house, whatever this was, a business, you're moving on. We have a new beginning here. Activation, something new is happening in your life. Wow, look at this. A lot of change for you guys. So in the recent path, there was a death. So this was an ending. Probably what you had to walk away from. You ended something. And you're moving on. Transition. You're going to transition period. So when something ends, something new could come in. So there could be an ending and a rebirth. Oh, wow. Ace of Swords. Breakthrough and awareness. Oh my God, I'm loving this reading for you guys. Something new is coming in. You may be starting a business. Starting a new relationship, getting to the truth of the matter. This is like cutting out what does not belong. This is what really feels like. This energy is like you're done, you're finished, you're not dealing with something anymore. You're leaving it, you're starting something new, you got a breakthrough, and you have awareness. You're aware of something. Oh my god, page of wands, excitement and curiosity. Okay, so there could be uh Aries Leo Sagittarius coming towards you. This could be starting something new, it could be going back to school starting a new job this is something where like your apprentice something new it also could be the fact that someone's coming that has a lot of passion for you and they're going to tell you about this they're going to say hey you know there there's excitement and curiosity here this looks good wow oh my gosh ten of pentacles ultimate achievement money 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 your finances look great. It's like you're going to have happiness. This could be where a lot of money comes in. You could be an inheritance. This could be, you could be set for life. This could be like a legacy that you're setting up. Like you're setting up your whole family for everybody involved here. This is major money. I mean, we got a big whale here. Okay. And Queen of Pentacles, nurturing. So this is, Pentacles is your sign. So this is you nurturing, coming into money here just being able to materially to be um all set you know you're doing great here financially this is the way people see you as being very stable and reliable and then we have queen of swords so you could be dealing with aquarius libra gemini it doesn't have to be this could be your energy something that's coming out the truth is coming out i really feel this very strong with this ace of swords and now with this queen of swords this could be someone coming into your life that um, you have great communication with, and but they're very sharp. They're just you know they're when they say something they just they're very blunt. They don't mess around. Okay, and then we have oh boy, and your potential outcome we have the lovers Gemini energy. Wow. Okay, it's a twin flame connection, and then we have hermit soul searching. So there's a Virgo energy. So you're going deep within, you're, you're figuring things out. I think you're going on a whole new path here. It's like a, a life-changing event here going on in your life. It looks good. And then we have the devil, obsession. Okay, so someone might be obsessing over you. You might be obsessing. You might be overdoing something. You might be working too hard. Um, we'll have to clarify these, see what comes up with this. But this is this is also your energy. So this could just be representing you, Capricorn. It could just be saying, hey, you're in your element here. You're soul searching, you're, this is you. So when I see it in your reading, it doesn't, it really doesn't um, feel the same way. It feels like it's just saying, this is your energy. And we have four swords, healing and recovery. So you're healing from something. You think with this soul searching too, that you went deep within, you're figuring things out. Things are changing, things are shifting. I think you're realizing things you didn't realize before. Okay, let's start clarifying. I'm so excited for you guys. What about this Eight of Cups? What is going on with this Eight of Cups, please? What is going on with this Eight of Cups? Devotion. Okay. So, 
someone might be walking towards you or you're walking towards someone and there's a lot of devotion there's someone that really cares a lot about you or is whatever you're leaving to go to something else you're devoted to this whether it's a circumstance and a, a new career it's or um, your sp spiritual beliefs there's a lot of devotion here could be a person okay what about this star it's gonna be different for everyone and please take what resonates leave what don't but you know what I would like to take this whole thing because this looks great so and if it's not happening yet you know, fake it until you make it. Because if you think about it, it's going to come in. Okay, now the star. What about the star? Balancing the scale. Libra energy. So things are balancing out in your life. Like here we have universal alignment plus balancing the scales. That's like the same thing. You're, you're getting aligned. You're, you're making sure that everything matches. That everything is just feels really good. And this is making you feel so free. And oh, I'm loving this reading for you guys. I'm very excited. Purge. Yes, you're purging. You get that's what it really feels like here. This transition, this death, and also this you know, evolving here, walking away. You are getting rid of things that do not work in your life, that are not good for you, that are not healthy, and you're just starting new. Starting fresh. You got with the death is it's endings and rebirth and then with the the full it's a new beginning plus with this um eight of cups it's leaving that does, which does not serve you it's also emotional cleansing too because with the eight of cups that's emotional that's that's the water and then we have the purge here so yes definitely getting a lot of emotions clearing them out so you can have something new coming in here okay now the death card fresh start oh yes 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 i'm so excited here there's so much new stuff this is something just new started whatever you ended was opened you up for this new start this fresh start so you had to end this in order to start this it seems like once one door closes another door opens so that's what's happening here what about this ace of swords capricorn signs yes I think you've been getting that a lot lately haven't you but signs pay attention to the signs pay attention to even if you're watching tv and name keeps on coming up that you haven't heard it if you notice when a name keeps on repeating it might be a name that you've never really seen on tv before like maybe it's not a common name or just and all of a sudden you keep on hearing it or you keep on or you see it in the paper or um you know say it's debbie all of a sudden, they're, this, this Debbie, they're talking about Debbie on, in the, on the TV. They're, the commercial mentions the name Debbie. Or in a show or a movie, it's Debbie. Then you pick up the paper and you see Debbie. Or they, they, they have those Debbie cakes or something. You see Debbie there. These are all signs. This is like he's on showing up, popping up to see, to tell you. There's something to do with that Debbie. Now, don't, I'm just using the name Debbie out of, you know, I just pulled it out of thin air. It doesn't mean anything in this reading. I just wanted to use a name, so... Um, unless it, it's a name you keep on seeing, that's more um, confirmation for you guys. Um, let's see, what about the Page of Wands? Admire. Oh, yes, you know why? Because the Page of the Wands is passion, it's desire. And someone's admiring you. Someone's very attracted to you. This might be something that's just starting, something new. This might be a new um, love interest, a new admirer. But I would say someone's admiring you. Someone is very interested in you. They're watching you. And they might be seeing you transform too. Because we do have the butterflies here. Okay, what about the Ten of Pentacles? I'm so excited to see this card. Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here? Family. Okay, see? You're going to be able to take care of your family. Whatever money's coming in, your family's going to be set for life. It's like, that's what it feels like. It feels like this money comes in is going to be something you're a able to set up things that are going to last lifetimes that your finances are going to be able to help your family here what about this queen of pentacles separation okay you could be in separation from someone and they see you as very nurturing caring they're missing you you could be separated from also a uh, earth sign so another capricorn uh, virgo taurus or it could just be that because this is when someone sees you they're hurting they they feel bad that you're in separation okay 
What about this Queen of Swords? New direction. Okay. So you may be going in a new direction with this person. Now we do have new, you know, all this new starts, new direction. That is very strong here. You're definitely doing something new. You're you're walking into the, the light here. You know, you're leaving something that was really a burden on you. Maybe the separation is the fact that you had to move on. Take it whichever way it resonates with you is going to be different for everyone. But you are. This is a new direction. And there's a lot of light here. This, this is good. Really good. Fresh start. Full card. Eight of cups. New direction. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I feel... And I, I got to tell you. The energy I'm feeling, it feels so bubbly, so excited that it's just... And now I'm getting chills. And, and, like waves of chills. Chills, chills, chills. So I was like, ooh, this is, this is good. <laughs> And this was, okay, you might have been stuck in a twin, twin flame connection, feeling that something's not moving. So that's probably the energy, but they're, they are um, recognizing this energy, this lovers, this twin flame. No, so maybe something's not really happening yet with them, but it's coming up, it's coming in. Might be unsticking it somehow with this new direction you're going in. Maybe by you moving or starting something new or ending stuff and starting something new, it's able to have this come in now. What about this hermit? Recognition. Wow. So by you soul searching or you're, you're healing something, you're learning something, you're realizing this connection, this lover's connection. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Why is the devil here? Is it for Capricorn or is it something else? What's going on here? Why is the devil here? Communication. Ooh. So I would say this is referring to your sign. That you're going to have communication with your twin flame here. There's recognition and there's communication. This also could be just, just also devil could also recommend, uh, recommend, ooh, uh, be referring to someone really obsessing over this um, relationship here. Wow. Okay. On the bottom, we have action. Okay, so someone's going to take action. It's probably with this communication. Someone's going to make a move. Someone's actually going to finally do something. So we have action. Okay, let's throw some more cards on this. I want to stay in this energy all day. It just feels so good. I mean, sometimes I get in energies and they're like, whoa, they're so heavy and they're tiring and they pulled, they're draining, but this, this, oh my God, I hope you guys are feeling this, experiencing this, because it is just amazing. Okay, <clears throat> whatever's coming in here, I'm so excited for you. Okay, five of cups. Someone's thinking about the past. Someone's um, missing you. They think a lot about you, I think, and they think they go back on what happened in the past, and now that just brought my bubble down a little bit. Let's see. Okay. And they might be watching you. They might be trying to figure out what's going on. Just seven of swords. Yes. This is also Aquarius energy. They could be, yeah, they could be trying to figure out what's going on. They they think they're hidden. They're they're like they're asking your friends about you or or maybe looking you up online and then it'd be one of those things where you know that this person looked you up or something or that you, it, it's not gonna be hidden. Somehow they're you're going to find out this person, you know, spying on you. Or they could even be, you know, spying on you by tapping into these readings, you know. But I feel like they're more like um, looking online, maybe asking friends or even where you work or watching you when you leave work or, or just trying to see if they see you with somebody else. Because you're the wish fulfillment. There's also this means that something's coming in for you that makes you really happy. I mean, we did have the star card. And we have nine cups. Lots of happiness. Wishes come true for you. I'm getting silly now. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing. Things are changing. They're definitely changing in your favor. Capricorn, I'm just so excited for you guys. Actually, I can't wait to post this reading now. I want to post it, like, right now. <laughs> Oops. Ah, look what wanted to come out. A fresh start. Divine time and destiny. And this looks like, and for you, those that you don't want it, 
you know, then it's not for you. But I feel that this energy, how happy and excited I feel that whoever this reading is for, they definitely want this connection. Now, if you don't want someone from the past, then that this part of the reading is not for you because the people that I'm feeling that I'm reading for are very excited about this connection. And this is a twin flame connection. This is recognition. This is six of cups. This is definitely someone coming back in. New starts, new beginnings. Oh my gosh. Returning. That could be what, and there was heartache. See, this person is suffering. This person is really missing you, missing you so much. And I feel that the separation here, the three of swords here, this is really hurting. That's why they have to make, they have to take some kind of action because they can't handle it anymore. It's too much. Look, they're coming in. They got a page of cups. Now, this could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. It does not have to be that sign. It could be any sign, but this is just telling you that someone's coming in with a love offer. And, and possibly apology. And they might have been thinking, you might have been thinking, well, when pigs fly, well, guess what? Pigs are starting to fly. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Might be a baby pig, but it's still, ooh. And this page of cups is actually more, they might be coming across with kind of shy, kind of timid, like a page of cups. Might be a little immature. They might be younger than you. But really, it's a Knight of Cups. So their feelings are, they're not letting on how much they're hurting, how much they care. But they do. Okay, what else do we have for you guys? I can't, I want to stay in this energy forever. I'm telling you, it feels so good. Oh, 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 do you believe that? Oh my God. <laughs> Never mind. They're coming across as a page. And then they might get a little bolder and let you know something else. Um, be a little more vulnerable. And then what the true feelings are, this is a king of cups, baby. This person has so much emotion, so much love. They are oh, they are just going crazy without you. And they're going to tell you. It might take a little time, but they're going to tell you. I can't believe that came out like that. Oh, my gosh. Oof. And look, they want to make sure if they didn't give before, maybe they didn't let you know how they felt. That's what it feels to me like they weren't really opening up. They're going to open up now and they want to give. They want to have an even give and take. They want to, they might want to shower you with gifts or, or just, you know, really open up because they know what they lost by not doing so. They understand what happened here. They didn't know before, but now they, they're recognizing this connection. They really are. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm so tingly. This is so exciting. <sighs> yes, they know that you're doing fine on your own. I mean, look at this. What's coming in for you, you know, it's amazing. And you don't need them, but boy, they need you. They miss you. They love you. They want this connection so bad. <sighs> here comes your energy down here. You are just, they can't, they can't deny this. It's like, um... You're just calm to them, you know, as your energy is pulls to them. They can they try they might try to get with other people to try to forget you, but that's not happening. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Let me get a couple more on here. <laughs> Alrighty, here we got it. The lovers. You guys are definitely connecting here. There is such a strong connection. Gemini energy. Could be a Gemini, it doesn't have to be. Just saying the lovers there. There's such a strong pull here. Someone felt abandoned, um, left out. The separation, you know, the, the three, the five, that's all. That's the hurt, that's the pain. Okay, what else do we have here? And when they decide to come, they might come fast. They might surprise you. So now this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Does not have to be, but they're gonna be moving quick. And again, I'm getting us. You're going to know. I think you're going to feel them. It feels like this. Um, You just might know they're around you somehow. Because I'm getting this with this. I don't know if this is a hawk. It feels like it might be a hawk. But I'm feeling like I'm getting this energy. Do you ever have that feeling where like you know someone's around you just feel them? You're going to feel it with this connection. Before this person comes around, I feel like for some of you that are really connected to your intuition 
You're going to feel it. Wham! Another full card here. New beginning, new start. So, taking the leap of faith. This person, I feel like this might be their energy saying, okay, I don't know what Capricorn is going to do. I don't know if I could come to Capricorn. I don't know if they'll take me back because it does feel like a, pa uh, a past connection, but this also could be a past life. So people that get really upset if you say someone's come back from the past, keep in mind your souls might know each other and you might not have met in the physical yet in this lifetime so don't get upset about something that might be something that you're not even aware of because you're you don't know of past life connections except, except when you're with a person like that you you just feel so comfortable right off the bat there's something about them that feels familiar you can't put your your finger on it that's because you've been together before you've been together in maybe one lifetime or many you can you could be keep on recurrent this could be especially for the twin flame you keep on coming back in each lifetime it doesn't mean that we always hook up every lifetime with our twin flame you can go a whole lifetime not seeing them you know in this lifetime but you are connected Let's see yeah they want to see this with this um they want to work together. They want to build something here. They want to work as a team. I don't think this person really put the effort in before. They're going to do it now. Oh boy, they are. Oh boy, this is exciting. Tower, yeah. They're going to come out of the blue. I think they're going to surprise you. Whatever they do, do. Do, do. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sorry. I get really silly now because this energy is getting me so... <laughs> so whatever they when they show up I think it's going to be really surprising to you or what they say or what they do something about this is going to be shocking it's going to throw you off so be prepared for that it, it might be where you see them what they say something about them is going to be like a shock course they've been thinking about this and working on this and trying to figure things out for a long time so and then all of a sudden they pop up and you're like you're thrown off they want to balance things out could be a libra energy they want balance here they want to make things right with you okay let me get one more because i could go on and on i'm just loving this <laughs> all right let's see yes victory so whatever you're doing too i think you're going to get recognized for what you're doing you might be in the spotlight you might be if you're not someone famous, you might become famous. You're going to get recognition for something here. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. So this is coming again. You know, someone, this person really thinks about things. This person is in their head a lot. So this could be you. This could be your person. And it's also cutting out what does not belong. So if things are not working and, and you're not getting the truth here, I think I more like feel like this is your energy, but I don't know. Take it the way it resonates. You're going to cut it out. If it's not correct, if they're not telling you the truth, Boom, you're not gonna be bothered. Okay, let's get a moon card on here and end this reading for you guys. Close it off with a nice moon, moonology card. Let's see what we got. Communication is key. Yes, yes, yes. And that's why she's here twice. Have to have communication. And we have the Ace of Swords, and we have your hard work is paying off. Oh yeah, baby! Look at this money coming in, and you're you're doing great here. So, I love this reading for you. I think it's an awesome reading. I hope it resonates with everybody. And please leave a comment. Let me know. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much. Bye.